Most of the students who stepped off the bus at Shortridge were up to date on their immunizations. Some who recently got their shots showed up with mom and dad. He missed Friday in the school, so. Because he didn't have his shots? Right. Does he have his shots now? Uh, yeah, I got it. You got all of your shots on Friday? Yeah, finally. Are you glad to be able to get back to class? Yeah. That wasn't the case for these students at Tech High School. They were put in a separate room until they could be sent home on a bus because they didn't have proof of their shots. It's really frustrating, especially since we did Letters Home last spring and we did something in the summer and have done many, you know, phone messages and letters this fall and they still haven't done it. We had about 70 percent complete. Other students lined up with their immunization records or letters from parents and doctors. Here at Tech, if students were up to date on their shots, they get a green sticker to put on their ID badge. If they're in the middle of getting a series of shots, they get a red sticker, but they were still allowed to go back to class. The morning wasn't as hectic at most IPS grade schools. What has the response been from the elementary school parents? Our response has been good. We're down to just a few kids that haven't gotten their shots. Some parents who said they thought their kids were up to date were upset. This father who didn't want to be on camera said his high school age daughter was sent home even though she recently got the state required shots. So we did that. She was allowed back into school, but today they sent her home because they didn't have her original records, which she's been in that school for three years and they should have a record of that.